Have you wondered what gets sprayed on airplane wings in the winter time? And once we're airborne, how do airplanes get rid of ice? Answers coming right up. Welcome to Aviator Inspirations. It's so good to have you back and see all your smiling faces. On this channel, I take the mystery out of the aviation industry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. In this video, we are talking about airplane de-icing and anti-icing. What's the difference? And I'm going to cover the anti-icing system of the Dash 8 Q400. First, a little bit of theory. Airplane wings generate lift by creating a low pressure on top and a high pressure in the bottom. Based on Bernoulli's principle, pressure moves from high to low, therefore pushing the wing up. When you have ice or snow on top of the wing, it disrupts the smooth airflow over the top, therefore reducing lift, increasing drag, and making it impossible for the wing to fly. This is where the first step starts, called de-icing. De-icing is the removal of snow or ice from the top of the wing, making it safe for the airplane to take off. De-icing is a one or two step process depending on the weather conditions. When there's no more current precipitation or falling snow, pilots request a type 1 de-ice. Type 1 stands for the type of fluid that is used. It's a low viscosity fluid and it quickly flows off the wing. It's applied hot at a temperature of 55 to 80 degrees Celsius and it quickly melts any snow, ice or frost. The fluid is dyed orange and helps us quickly and visually determine that the correct fluid was used. If it is snowing, then a type 1 de-ice will not be enough because more snow will just simply fall on the wing. Therefore, pilots request a type 4 de-ice after the type 1 de-ice is complete. Type 4 de-ice is a pseudoplastic, which means it has a polymeric thickening agent and prevents it from flowing off the wing. It's a thick and goopy fluid that prevents the snow from sticking to the wing. When the airplane takes off, the fluid is designed to shear off at around 100 knots, therefore preventing the wing from being contaminated and allowing the airplane to safely take off. Type 4 fluid is colored green. If you are a passenger, you now know exactly what's going to happen when the airplane taxis out for a de-ice, and you'll be able to tell which fluid is being used depending whether it's orange or green. Now, once we're airborne, the airplane is climbing through the same clouds from which the snow was falling, but the difference now is that the airplane starts to pick up ice. Inside the cloud, water is still a liquid and hasn't turned into snow. So when this liquid water hits a hard surface, like wings, propellers, or the fuselage, it freezes upon impact and turns into ice. But Yaro, that is so dangerous! Yes, and you're right. That's why airplanes have anti-icing systems. Anti-icing is preventing ice from forming versus de-icing, which is the removal of ice after it has formed. On the Dash 8 Q400, we have several systems that accomplish this task. This is what our anti-icing panel looks like in the flight deck. On the wings, horizontal stabilizer, and engine intakes, we have what are called boots. Yes, like the rubber boot, but I'm not really sure where the name comes from, so you'll have to ask Bombardier. What they are are rubber inflatable diaphragms that use pneumatic air from the engines to inflate at certain intervals to break any ice off the wing as it starts to form. The boots span the whole length of each wing and each horizontal stabilizer. The air intake for the jet engine also has a boot, and it prevents any large chunks of ice from breaking off and being sucked into the engine and causing damage. Next, the propellers have an electric anti-icing system where the leading edge of each propeller has a heating element that melts the ice. As ice melts, centrifugal force from the spinning propellers fling the ice everywhere, even towards the fuselage. Therefore, on the Q400, they have installed ice shields. It's an extra layer that can take the damage from the ice and it can be replaced as needed without causing any damage to the main body. So if you're flying as a passenger and you hear a big thump against the fuselage, that's probably the ice melting off the props. 
finally, all our external sensors are heated electrically and we make sure not to touch them during our walk around because they are extremely hot. So there you have it. Flying in the winter poses many risks and challenges for pilots, but with the right tools and procedures and a lot of patience from the flying public, we can overcome these challenges together and get you to your destination safely. If you have any questions about flying or other airplane systems you want me to cover, post them down in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. I would really appreciate the support. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode.